My name is Andrew James and I'm the module team chair for SMT359 Electromagnetism. If you're asking yourself what electromagnetism is, it's a classical field theory that unifies electrical and magnetic phenomena. If you're asking yourself why you should study it, well firstly you'd be hard pressed to call yourself a physicist of any kind if you didn't know anything about one of the most important theories that physics has ever come up with. Secondly, it's a great way to learn about symmetry and how we use it to study problems in physics, how we use it to simplify problems and solve them, and also about how we use things like vector calculus and surface and volume integrals, which come up all over the place. Uh, if you continue in studying physics to a higher level, you'll need to know about these things. So this is a great way to start introducing yourself to how we use them. Thirdly, it's really technologically important. So you're using the internet probably to view this. So whether that's fiber optic or copper cables or Wi-Fi, all of those things have been designed using our knowledge of electromagnetism. Uh, the course is built around three books. The first book is an introduction to Maxwell's equation, so this explains the four equations, uh, Gauss's law, the non-monopole law, Ampere's law, and Faraday's law, and explains how they have integral and differential formulations that tell you about properties at distance and also properties locally at a point. Um, it also tells you about Lorentz, the, Lorentz force, the Lorentz force law, which tells us about how charges move in electric ma and magnetic fields. Um, it has a bonus maths chapter at the end, chapter 8, which basically is a sort of revision chapter for all the kind of mathematical concepts that you will need to use to understand this, this course, which you may be rusty or you may have forgotten about uh, from level 2, doing mathematics at level 2. Uh, so the, this book tells you about what's called the microscopic formulation of Maxwell's laws. So those are always valid, but sometimes when you're working in media, so in a particular material, it's useful to use a different formulation called the macroscopic formulation of Maxwell's laws. And the macroscopic formulation of Maxwell's laws uh, introduces beyond the electric field E and the magnetic field B, it introduces two, two new fields called D and H, and those are helpful in things like dielectric media um, in order to simplify the way that you calculate things. Basically, they're, tri they're sort of tools that help you calculate things more easily. So book two is mostly mostly about learning about those things. Um, it also tells you about how to calculate magnetic and electric fields in slightly more complicated situations. So it has chats on electrostatic field calculation, things like that. Um, it has a couple of bonus chapters at the end, one on superconductors, so this is non-examined material, and one on special relativity and electromagnetism. That's a really important chapter actually. So even though it's a bonus chapter and it's not examined, I think it's a really important thing to read and understand how electromagnetism and special relativity are tied together. And in fact, electromagnetism, if we hadn't known about electromagnetism, then some bloke called Einstein wouldn't have had to think out of the box to try and explain why the speed of light was invariant and how that worked with everything else. So it's really key. And even though it's not examined, I'm going to say it again, it's really worth reading that chapter. Um, so then book three, book three is all about electromagnetic waves. Uh, first of all, it explains what a wave equation is, it explains why a wave equation comes about from Maxwell's laws, uh, it explains why electromagnetic waves are something that can move in a vacuum rather than typically we think of waves in water or things like waves that move in some medium, but electromagnetic waves require no medium to move in. So it explains, first of all, that stuff. Then it moves on to explain actually how electromagnetic moves, waves propagate when they actually do come into contact with the medium. So when they come into contact with things like dielectrics or conductors, why they're reflected, absorbed, why there's refraction, why there's total internal reflection, why we see things like rainbows due to angular, disper angular dispersion. Okay, so yeah, these are three very good books and I can say that honestly because I was not involved in writing them whatsoever. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you study these books, I think you'll, you'll have a, an enjoyable experience because they really are very well written. There's also six ICMAs and four TMAs to work your way through. These don't count towards your final grade, but they are very important. So they're given a threshold, basically, to ensure that you take part and do study them. Because without studying them, you're going to have a really hard time in the exam. Because it's all about practicing these concepts and making sure that you understand how to solve the problems. And you won't get that by just reading the book. You've got to practice and practice and practice. But if you do, I think you'll find it a really rewarding course. and you'll feel that you've really achieved something. So thank you very much, and I hope I see you next year on SMT359.